Hello, this is Derek Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight. Today we have to get this profi hopper to the sheep because I need to feed some sheep. We brought our pickup truck, but we can't load our profi hopper into our pickup truck. And I'm not driving that stupid thing all the way over to the sheep farm. So we've got ourselves a little mod here. Let's go to look at our mods. And we are going to tippers. We have a utility trailer mod. Uh, Jumpstart by VB Modding did a convert. Uh, and then we've got Stefan Mafar with the translation. Uh, special thanks going out here for specializations that were provided. Uh, the link, as usual, is in the description. So we're going to try, we're going to go ahead and buy this. We've got our trailer. It is clipped. Well, that's there's a disappointment right there. Not really sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, but let's go get the truck. Let's see what happens when we hook it up to something. Hmm. Of course, we've got to wait for our truck to stall. I'm going to get another vehicle because this stalling pickup truck. Uh, it's starting to drive me nuts. There is a uh, a new version out, I believe, by Oxstar, uh, released version 2.2, and I believe that might fix this stalling problem. I haven't actually checked though. All right, come on, go. Let's see here, hook up. Oh, we rolled over it. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. So it starts out clipped in, but now that we have it on the truck. Let's check this out. You know, that that looks about right. We've got a, <laughs> strangely, we have a Euro tags on the trailer and Texas tags on the truck. All right. So let's see, lower gate is G, raised jack is H. So H, oh, look at that, excellent. I remember having to do that a lot when I, we, we used to have trailers. Okay, so now G lowers the gate. Excellent. All right, so now let's get our profi hopper. All right, little profi hopper here. Goes just about as fast backwards as this does forward, so I guess it really doesn't matter which way I do this. Oh, except for now I'm stuck. There we go. Up, up, up. There we go. Get our profi hopper in here. Looks like I could almost fit two profi hoppers on there if I really tried. I don't want to do that though. All right, let's get in our truck here. So we have to lock the load with the Z key. All right, and now I'm going to raise my gate. Excellent. Let's turn on some lights here. Does that add lights to the back of the trailer? Let's see here. Yep. Yeah, look at those little. Those lights are so small. Look at the size of those lights. Oop. They're so small. But they work. Okay, so we've got our truck and trailer. Let's see how this works. You can still see the hitch ball on the on the truck, but I don't know if that's a problem with the truck or the trailer. So where are we heading? We're heading for the sheep farm because I need to get sheep. Uh, sheep. Sheep. Where are the sheep? Let's head this way. So look at how much easier this is. Now if, if my truck went faster than 25 miles an hour that would make this a little bit easier but still I mean oh whoa okay it's a little bit light on its uh, light there kind of bouncing around a lot I'm also wondering if I when I decouple this if it will disappear into the ground again you know if it just happens when you buy it I I'm I can forgive that um, but if we have this problem every time we unhitch it, that that would be an issue. All right, turning off here. So the trailer seems to seems a bit light, but I mean, having towed trailers like this behind a a big uh, Ford 350 dually, you know, it's it's about the right size. Um, gets lost in the dually, but. No, we're not driving a dually, so that's fine. Now that we're on gravel, you know, we're, we don't seem to have any problems with the trailer. I like how it just it jumps into the truck instead of the trailer, but... 
Alright, we're doing okay. Sheep are over here, I think. I would like to get a faster speed out of the truck. That would be nice. Um, but I do know how to fix some of this. So some of the problems that we encounter, the high gas load, for instance, or uh, the speed. Well, actually, uh, I think I'm going to do a, a video on how to fix some of that. The trailer still seems... it's getting a little bit squirrely back there. Uh, but it's it's still working. I mean, you would you would expect to get a little bit squirrel. And really, I should have parked that uh, profi up over the axle. Proper load balancing is important. Wait a minute, sheep are the other direction, aren't they? Shoot! All right, turn around. There we go. All right, sheep. I don't even know where my sheep are. How about that? What's that noise? Is that my truck? Did I just break a truck? Okay. Alright, so yeah, uh, speed. Speed is an issue. 25 miles an hour, I would expect more. I actually should have hooked this up to the uh, International Harvester with its uh, 40 mile an hour speed, which was kind of ridiculous. Um, but it, I, I figured it looked better hooked up to this truck. And I, you know what? It does. I mean, you see this come down the road, you know that this person, they're going to mow some grass, or whatever else. But the trailer fits properly behind the truck. It looks really nice. Um, Alright, how do we get to our sheep? Oh, there's the road. Alright, now I wonder if I uncouple the trailer without lowering the jack, will it act funny? I also wonder... I guess it has to be hooked up in order for the... Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Truck and trailer flying through the air. Alright. I think you can get that same speed off of... I think you can do that in a tractor as well, but... Um, that's strange. There's our sheep. So, already, I mean, even with my getting lost on the way here, much faster to get the profi hopper here um, at, what is that, uh, four times the speed of the profi hopper. All right, so here we are, pulling into our place. Let's, let's pull in over here. So let's unlock the load with the Z key. Lower the gate. Here we go. Now let's hop out of our truck. I do like how the lights stay on. Getting our profi hopper. And there we go. Profi hopper is delivered. All right, now we need to check what happens when we remove this from the truck? Let's bring our gate back up. Let's lower the jack. Here we go now. Here is the moment of truth. Disconnection. Look at that. Alright, I'm, I'm curious now. Let's raise this up. Come on. There we go. Disconnect. Perfect. Look at that. All right. One more thing we're going to try. I'm going to lower that, drop the gate. Now, in theory, if I remove this from the truck and I go get in the profi hopper, I, I know from having done this in real life <laughs> when I wasn't paying attention and I thought my trailer was on the truck <laughs> that this can cause problems. So let's see what happens. All right, so other than clipping into the back of my truck, <laughs> uh, other than clipping into the back of my truck, back up, back, oh, I can't push it. Well, how about that? Um, <laughs> oops. So we clip into the back of the truck, but it, and the trailer runs away, which didn't actually happen to me. What happened to me is the trailer flipped. Um, it went up so that, uh, the back end actually hooked in to the, or the back end dropped until it hit the ground.
All right, so I want to hop out again. Let's look at this. Yeah, I think it's the the truck mod is the problem here, not the trailer. I'd have to go get another vehicle to check that, but there we go. And I also noticed that these gas drums do indeed actually allow me to fuel up. So the truck works as a fueling truck as well. All right, so there we go. There's the utility trailer. Um, we didn't talk about the price when I bought it, but 2500 uh, that's completely what I would expect. Um, that's actually about $500 more than what I paid for a trailer I had. Um, and it wasn't as nice as this. So there you go. I actually had to put that jack on myself, <laughs> the trailer I bought. So I do like the, uh, close this. There we go. I do like this mod, a uh, perfect mod for transporting around these slow pieces of equipment like the Profi Hopper. Um, it would help if my truck was a little bit faster, but I can take it. So this is the uh, utility car, or utility car, utility trailer uh, by Jumpster, Stefan Marr, uh, along with Xenthro, Sven 777B, and Jerry G. Uh, download link is in the description as always. This has been Derek Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight.